looks like the patient's coming in after some head trauma, okay? And the nurse's report says that they couldn't get any proper vitals. Interesting, but that they need a cranial nerve exam, a full body exam, and to see if everything's okay. The patient appears to have everything wrong with them, the note says. Okay, I'll make sure to check that out when I see them myself. Let's see if I can send them Hello there. Are you here for the cranial nerve exam? You are. Perfect timing. Please do come on in. And if you can, take a seat right at the exam table right there. Yeah, just sit on top of it. Good. So that we're eye level. Perfect. Is that comfortable enough for you? Good. So, welcome to Dream City Clinic. I am the neurologist here, Dr. Luna. It's a pleasure to meet you today. So, I was just looking at your notes here, and it says that everything is wrong with you. Uh, is this a true statement, or would you care to elaborate? Okay, so your eyes have been off. Your balance has been off. Yeah, I did see that you hit your head somewhere here. It does say that memory is a bit bad, and you have a bit of problems tasting things. Okay. Well, we'll see if this is true, okay? I'll make sure to just examine you and see what's going on, okay? Could you first give me your name? Anne, how do you spell that? Okay, well, the spelling's a bit off. Is this... You don't really remember. Okay, so that the head trauma could have caused that, okay? We'll make sure to find out what's wrong, okay? And do you remember your last name? Okay, it's a bit different, too. What about your birthday? That's about 30 years off. Okay, you're not that old, so I'll let you know right now. And this might be a far reach, but do you know your address, where you currently live? Yeah, I thought that this would be a different one, so... Okay, I'm just gonna write that down here. We're just gonna make sure that you're okay. So, you definitely don't live on Sesame Street, but good guess. So, I'm gonna just let you know right now. I'm gonna first take your vitals. Is that okay with you? Good. So, first thing I'm going to ask is, I'm just going to ask you a couple questions with your vitals and put some pressure around your eyes, okay? Let me know if that feels comfortable to you. Good. So, right there, put a little bit of pressure. Does that hurt? Yeah. And right here, put a little bit of pressure. Does that hurt? Okay. And what about right here? Any pressure? Okay. And right here, any pressure? Okay. And did you hurt yourself on the left or the right of your head? If I put pressure, does that feel uncomfortable? That's what I thought. A bit uncomfortable. And one more time. Yeah. I'm going to send a little bit of that in. It looks a bit small and send it to the lab, okay? So, let's get your pulse first. I'm going to first get your temperature. We didn't get it from the other nurses, so I'll see if I can find it myself, okay? So, could you sit still? Okay, this is quite peculiar, but it says your body temperature is nearly freezing, which is uh, inaccurate. Let's try one more time. Okay, yeah, so that says that you are at uh, zero degrees centigrade, which is freezing. I don't know if I believe that, but let's try it again. Okay, you know what? I think maybe there's something wrong with my machine. I'm gonna manually test it, okay? So, I have a thermometer we're gonna put under the tongue, okay? So, I'm gonna ask you to just open really carefully and and can you close your mouth just like this? Good. We're going to hold it for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. I'm going to pull it back, hit analyze. And uh, yeah, the manual thermometer can't even get a gauge on you, so that's peculiar. I think there might just be something wrong here today. Okay. okay. I'm going to get your heart rate, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my stethoscope here and I'm going to see if I can get a heart rate, okay? So just relax. And I know this might be a bit cold, so I apologize in advance, but I'm going to ask you just to breathe normally, okay? We're just going to start over here. Let's begin. Okay. Let's try this on the different side. That was kind of funny. I feel like I 
couldn't even hear that. Okay, I'm going to put that right there. Breathe in and breathe out. Okay. Okay, that just sounded like a racehorse. Are you a bit nervous? Everyone gets a bit nervous. I'm going to put this on your back, okay? Just breathe in normally, okay? Okay, let's try this again on your chest. Okay, breathe in normally. Okay, so your heart rate is way too fast for me to gauge, or it's way too slow for me to gauge. I'm going to use something known as a pulse oximeter. I'm going to put this on your finger, okay? And sometimes due to lung function or phlegm, it can be a bit difficult to gauge just how fast your heart rate's going and your oxygen level. So I'm going to put this on your finger, okay? So just give me your finger right there. Good. Perfect. We're just going to let that sit and work around, okay? What I'm going to do next is I'm going to test your blood pressure. Okay, so I have my blood pressure gauge and machine here, and we're going to push a bit of oxygen into the pumps, okay? So just going to put this on again. And though I've never seen a medical phenomenon like this before, I'm just curious. So let's put this on your arm. Let me give you this arm, okay? And that's around your arm. Does that feel okay? Okay. I'm going to push some oxygen in and I'm going to watch the gauge go, okay? So, let's begin. Okay. Feel any pressure on your arm right now? No? Okay. Okay. Can I put my hand just around there to see if there's pressure? Okay, there is, and you don't feel that? Okay, just a couple more. Okay, and then let's release the oxygen from the machine. Okay, and then Let's see. Yeah, it looks like you are pulling at a zero. So I think there's just something wrong with my machine here. Um, quick question. Do you have any type of electronics or metal in your body that could interfere with medical equipment? No. Okay, so I'll have to see on my own. I still think it might just be something wrong with the air, you know? Just something wrong with the air. Okay. And then let's actually pull that up. Uh, finger monitor off. And let's get the results. We're at a null, so there's none. I don't even know your oxygen percent rate, which is quite peculiar. Okay, so I think there's just something wrong here. I really don't think it could be you. So let's just begin with the cranial nerve exam part now. Okay, so I'm going to ask you really carefully. I'm going to start off with your eyes. Okay, so can you look me directly in my eyes? No, not at the poster. Just look at my eyes. No, not at the wall. I'm not over here. Look at my eyes. Okay. Okay, that's a bit difficult for you. I do see. Is everything moving around you? Yeah, a bit of vertigo and imbalance. That's what I thought, okay? And can you just stare at my finger really carefully? Just look over here to my finger. Can you follow it? Okay, can you look up? Follow my finger. Can you do that without moving your neck or your head? Just with your eyes, follow my finger. I'm gonna hold your chin. Oh yeah, okay. So, your whole balance is off. I do notice that. That could have severely impacted how you are looking and visually seeing, okay? So, I'm gonna just use a quick light on your eyes, okay? So. Okay. I have a pen light here. I'm going to ask that you just look at me, or try your best to look in my direction. Okay, I'm going to shine this pen light right in your eye. Does that feel uncomfortable? Yeah. Oh, your eyes are not dilating either. Okay. 
Okay, let's see here. Okay, one more time. And we'll put back here. Okay, yeah, your eyes are having a bit of trouble dilating, if at all. I don't even see them dilating. I'm gonna cover one eye, okay? And can you see the light? You can? And what color is it pulling? What color is everything around you? Yellow. Ooh. Okay, it's a blue light. Let's try the other direction, okay? And let's pull it. And what color are you seeing again? Okay, a bit blue. Okay, so each eye is seeing a different color. Okay, can you try to follow the light for me? To the best of your ability, don't move your head. I'll just keep your chin still, okay? Follow the light. Okay. Good, follow the light. Okay, I'm gonna speed this up a little bit. Yeah, I'm seeing a bit of difficulty with you keeping up with the light. Okay, and is it brightest here at the center or to the side? To the side, okay. Let's try again to the center or to the side, which is brighter? To the side. Okay, so your eyes are having different types of contractions making the colors change and making the lights brighter in different areas. So, I'm thinking the trauma has caused the whole eyes and the orbitals to be changed and infracted with differently, okay? I'm going to ask you, are you able to see the chart behind me? Okay. Is there any difference with the quality of how I look? As in, sometimes the human eye, if I focus on one thing in front of me, everything behind me blurs. Is there a blur behind me? There isn't. Okay, so there must be something functioning a bit differently. Can you read the first letter for me? What is that? Mm-hmm. What is this first letter right here? Okay, good. That's an E. Can you read the second line for me? What does that say? That's an F and a P. Very good. We have something good going on here. So can you read the second line for me? Mm-hmm. That is a T and O and a Z. Okay, here we go. It gets a little bit more peculiar here. That actually is an S. Close, but not quite there. Can you read the fourth line for me? What does that say? L-P-E-D. No. Okay. That's, that actually says P-T-O-D. Okay, can you read the fifth line for me? What does that say? P-F-C-F-D. Yeah, I think you're actually mixing the lines together at this point, so I guess the smaller the letters, the more that you're able to mix it up, which could be something sort of a brain injury, especially if you did hit your head really hard, okay? So you don't need to force yourself to look at that anymore, okay? I'm going to quickly ask you just a couple of questions. We're going to test your peripheral vision. Could you let me know when you are unable to see my hands from your visual field? Okay, so I'm just going to wiggle my hands, and you let me know when you see it come out of your visual field by saying now. Okay, so let's begin. Good. Okay. Now. Okay. Okay. Okay, that is um, pretty early, so it looks like you have a smaller visual field than you normally would. Okay, and do you wear any glasses or contacts? You don't. Okay, so let's try this again now. Okay, just a bit closer. Okay. And now? Okay. And now? Okay. And a bit farther away. When? Okay. And when? Okay. When? And when? Okay, so it looks like your visual field is just more closed, which could be something that I need to watch out for. I'm going to write that down really carefully. Now I'm going to play a game with you, and I want you to let me know how many fingers I'm holding up, okay? So, let's begin, okay? So, we're going to start off with just none of my fingers up. How many fingers am I holding up? Okay, that's... Okay, that's supposed to be two. So, what are you, what are you seeing? One. Okay, let's try this again. How many are you seeing? Five. Okay, that's four. How many are you seeing? Three. Okay, that is three. Very good. How many are you seeing? Okay, that you're seeing four. That should be three. How many now? 
you're seeing all my fingers up that's good that actually is 10 okay let's count again how many okay and how many now okay so a bit of difficulty doing that okay so this is actually a total of seven i have another finger up but you're seeing six okay so we are seeing a bit of a difference with your eyes okay good to know i'm gonna make sure that we're going to not test your eyes anymore as your eyes are fluctuating i'm gonna write that down so looks like your eyes are i've never seen someone's eyes act like that before but we'll figure it out no problems we'll figure it out but it does look like they're just a bit off no big deal okay no big deal okay it's a quick color and shape assessment okay so first i'm going to ask you what color you see okay not about the shape just the color so i'm going to show this in front of you it's just a quick card do you see this little object here what color is this right here Mm hmm what color is this okay you think that's purple okay that's red okay let's try this again so i'm gonna try another one okay so i'm gonna pull this object up again so we see a triangle right here what color is this triangle brown okay this is yellow Let's try this again. So, I'm gonna pull it up here. Do you see this rectangle right here? What color is this rectangle? What color is this? Red. Okay, that's green. So, it looks like you're seeing the opposite colors of the spectrum. Okay, I'm gonna try this again. So, what color are you seeing here with this rectangle? What is that? Orange. Well, that one's pink. So, it looks like you're seeing the opposite of the color spectrum. Um, that could just easily be because of your head being just a bit injured, okay? No big deal here. But I've never seen that myself. I do see that. We're having a bit of fluctuations with what you're seeing and how you're perceiving, okay? So, I'm going to write that down. Okay. Next, we're going to do a sensory set of tests. We're going to test your muscles and then your nose and your mouth, Okay. And we're also going to just move around your neck a little bit, okay? So, we're going to start off with the fun one. We're going to test your nose and your smells and sense of smells, okay? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out a couple of um, my colorful scented smells right here. And I want you to take a good guess at what these smells are. They don't have to be correct, just around the answer that we're looking for, okay? So... We have our first tube here. Any idea what color this is? That looks like a pink to you. Yeah, well, that's the same color as our walls. And our walls are like a baby blue. So, peculiar. So, okay. Would you let me know what that smells like to you? Again, you don't have to be correct. Just generally read the answer, okay? So, you're smelling... What? Describe it to me. Okay, a plant. That's actually good. Okay, you're smelling a strong smell. Good. And you're smelling mint. Okay. Anything else? No flowers, no florals, no trees. Okay. Well, you said this is mint. Okay, well, this one's actually lavender. Okay. And I'm just going to ask you, what color is this one? You're seeing green. Okay. This one is a navy blue. And this one smells quite lovely. Okay. Just take a guess at what you're smelling. Okay. Any idea? Okay. It smells a bit fruity. Okay. Like sweet or like sour fruit. Like sweet fruit. Okay, that's good. And any idea what this, what this could be? Okay. You're saying apple, like apple juice? That's it? Final? Okay. Well, this one's orange. You were similar to the fruit idea, but this one's orange. Okay, let's shake this one up. Okay. And what color is this? You're seeing blue. Okay, this one's red. Okay, 
And what is this one? Okay, you're smelling floral, like breakfast, okay? And what would you say this is? Coffee? Okay, well, this one's peppermint. I do think that your senses are a bit off. A little bit. So, we're just going to try this one next, I guess. What color is this one? You're seeing red. Okay, this one's purple. Okay, let's try this now. And what are you smelling? You can't even tell. Any guesses? It's okay to guess. Okay. Well, this one's cinnamon. And it's really strong. In fact, it smells like a strong herb. So, I do think your senses are off. I'm gonna give you a taste test now. We have two tubes filled with a, uh, a substance that will either be sour, or sweet, or bitter. And what you have to do is just let me know which one it is. Which one you taste, and since there's only two, It'll be a bit easier, okay? So we have sour, sweet, or bitter, okay? Could test the first one here. Could you open your mouth? Can I give you just a drop? And two. And close your mouth and go. Okay, and what is that? Sour or sweet? No reaction. You don't taste anything at all? Well, that one's very sour. So I'm gonna put that one down. No reaction, no reaction. Okay, typically people's face have a reaction to sour because it would lay on your tongue a particular way. Let's try this one, okay? This one's a bit different. Okay, open your mouth. We're just gonna do one, two, okay? And close your mouth and go, okay, and what are you sensing? You, no reaction at all. You have no reaction at all? So, I'm just gonna read this down. It's not a big deal. I promise you it's not a big deal. But no reaction to the bitter or the sour. That's two different types of sensors on your tongue, okay? And are you in pain at all right now? No, okay. Let's test your muscles, okay? So, what I'm gonna use now is we're gonna do a muscle mimicking test. And I'm gonna use my reflex hammer to test to see if your reflexes are working with your muscles, okay? So first, we're going to start off with a game called Mimic Me. I want you to mimic every single shape and face that I create, okay? To the best of your ability, okay? So, let's begin. I'm going to ask you, can you raise your eyebrows as if you were very excited? Mm -hmm. And is that as tall as you can raise your eyebrows? Okay, um, try one more time. Three, two, one, raise your eyebrows. Okay. Can you furrow your brows as if you were angry? It was like, so like, furrow your eyebrows. Okay, you can do that, good. Any pain when I put pressure right there? None at all. Great, that's a good sign, okay? So we have one thing that's good, we're doing good. Can you open your eyes as if you were very excited? Yeah, okay, so, uh, maybe relax, relax, don't do that again, okay? Your eyes are just overworking and your eyes are fluctuating, okay? Can you smile for me? A big cheesy smile. Good. Can you open your mouth while you do so? Like, ah. Uh. Okay, looks like one side is drooping a bit. So one of the muscles on one of the sides that's opposite opposing to the part where you hit your head is a bit irregular. Okay, relax. Can you frown for me? Comically. Okay, and you're unable to do that either. Okay, relax your face. Okay, I'm going to do a quick thing with you. I want you to close your eyes as tight as possible, and I want you to resist me opening your eyes, okay? So, close your eyes as tight as possible and resist in three, two, one. Resist, resist, resist. Okay, yeah, relax. We're done. Looks like there's no resisting there. Looks like the muscles give away, okay? I'm going to try your shoulders now. Can you raise your shoulders for me as if you were very excited? Just raise your shoulders. Good. I'm going to put pressure on them now, and I'm going to try to push them down, and I want you to resist me from pushing them down, okay? So, three, two, one, resist. Okay, resist this time. Three, two, one, resist. Three, two, one, resist. Okay, um, I've never seen that happen before. Are your muscles very weak right now? I can tell. I can tell. 
So, especially if you've been really cold, your muscles are not working properly, and your eyes are reacting to light very strangely, I do think you may have something going on that could be the underlying issue of your muscle relaxing. I won't give up just yet. So, now we're going to test the reflex of the muscles on your body, okay? I'm going to ask you to put an arm out, and I'm just going to test the reflex of your wrist to see if your hands clench, okay? So, give me one. Let's test. Three, two, one. Okay, let's try it more time. Three, two, one. And no reflex. Okay, let's test the other side. Three, two, one. Let's test. Nothing. Three, two, one. Okay, interesting. I'm going to test right here at your collarbone. Three, two, one. Your shoulder didn't flinch on the other side. Three, two, one. Okay, nothing like all. So, we're going to test the inside part of your arm. Give me your arm. Let's test right here. Three, two, one. No reflex. You didn't even squeeze your fist. Three, two, one. Same on this side. I'm kind of just blown away because I've never seen this before. Okay, let's test your knees. Just let your knees relax. Okay, I'm going to test right here. No, no flinch. And here? No flinch. Can you feel that when I'm tapping on you? You can. Okay, let's quickly test your head then. Okay, let's test. Three, two, one. Anything? No. Three, two, one. Anything. Three, two, one. Anything. And three, two, one. No reaction. Okay. Well, that's quite peculiar. I'm going to ask you to just do something. It's called the hand hold test. I'm going to shake your hand and I want you to squeeze my hand as tight as you possibly can. It's not going to hurt me, okay? So let's begin. Give me your hand. Let's hold in three, two, one. Squeeze as hard as you can. Is that as hard as you can? Okay, and relax. Okay, let's try the other hand now. Three, two, one, and hold. Okay, and relax. Okay. We're going to move on. I'm not going to stick to this for too long. I think it might just be you're sick. I'm just going to say that you're sick. Let's test your ears real quick, okay? I'm just going to get into each ear. Is that okay with you? Okay. I'm going to see. Can you hear that? That I'm in your ear right now? You can. That's a good sign. Any pain? No. Okay, let's test the other ear. Any pain? No. Can you hear that I'm in your ear? Okay. I'm going to whisper something to each of your ear sides, and you let me know if it's coming from the left or the right side, okay? So I'm going to get right here. I'm going to whisper something to you. Repeat it back to me. So I'm going to whisper right here. I'm going to say, Cherry. 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 What did I whisper to you? Okay? And what side did that come from, the left or your right side? Okay, so it's kind of flipped. Let's try it again. what word was that? Orange. And what side did you hear that from? A bit of the center. Okay, so it is flipped. Okay, let's try this again. Cucumber. 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 And what side did you hear that from? The left or the right? Yeah, it is quite flipped. Let's try one more time. And what word was that? Okay, so we are seeing a bit of a difference with what you're listening to. I'm going to use something called a tuning fork here, and I want you to let me know if you can hear that from your left or your right side, okay? So, it's a sensitive sound, and it's going to test to hear if you have sensory issues with the sound, okay? And what side is that coming from? Opposite. One more time. Opposite again, okay? Let's try this side. And what side do you have from left to right? Okay, and one more time. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do here is we're going to be done with the cranial nerve exam for now and the full body exam. It just looks like everything is just a bit off. And uh, that's not a big, no worries. I have yet to figure this out, but I'll figure it out. We're going to send you in to the overnight clinic, and we're going to give you a bed, and then we're going to figure out what exactly could be causing this uh, type of issue. Uh, just not right now. We'll figure it out like very soon, okay? No worries. And we're going to send you to a nurse first to get you changed to do the proper attire, and we're going to keep you here overnight. As well, we're going to run more tests on you in the morning, and I'm going to re-perform a cranial nerve exam in the morning for you, okay? 
We're also going to test right there on your wound to see if there might be some sort of infection that could be causing you more pain and more distress. That could also be throwing your results off, okay? Yeah. No promise you. I'm not worried at all. We're going to figure this out. It's definitely something I've seen before, you know? It's just not coming back to me, you know? Okay? No, I promise we're good. I promise everything's going to be fine, okay? Good. So just relax. I just said the information. The nurse is going to come here and they're going to take care of you first. I'm going to just finish up my notes and I'll get out of here, okay? Yeah. You stay for the night and we're going to figure out what's going on here, okay? Because I can't right now, but we're going too soon. Okay? Good. Don't worry, I'm not worried at all. Okay. Let me just get the nurse. Nurse. Nurse, nurse. Hey. We got we to gotta fix this. We got to fix this. No worries. 